Hey Hayden, congrats for your World Championship title. Uh, tell me, how often did you practice this T2 transition? Ah, uh, never. Uh, it was uh, it's just I, I race a lot and uh, yeah, it, it worked out pretty well. Um, like seriously, I, I don't I don't try and train for T2s. Uh, you know, sometimes it's just um, a bit of luck, and you're, you're going at so much fast pace that you really know what you want to do. You want to take your helmet off first, but sometimes it just doesn't happen. And t today, the, the helmet went off first, and somehow I got my real flat feet. Uh, <laughs> it's normally quite hard for me to get my like, flat feet into narrow shoes, so it worked out pretty well today. <laughs> Uh, running in first is one thing, but uh, knowing that Alex Z and Christian Blumenfeld are behind you, how does it feel? Yeah, I did not look back once. The only times I got to look back was the U-turns, and I was, for me personally, it was just to really hit those U-turns really hard, as that's where you lose a lot of speed. Um, so just keeping that momentum really high. Uh, I saw the group behind with, yeah, Christian, uh, Hauser, uh, Alex, and Vesco, and I was like, you know, I'm doing all this work by myself, and they've got a really nice group. Like, I know Alex and Matt have an extremely good finish. So I was like, all right, um, just got to get to that, that blue carpet before, you know, three seconds before them, and I can just, just close my eyes and just keep gritting. <laughs> it takes uh, four races to be become world champion. What did you learn from each round before? Um, I learned that the qualifier is extremely hard to go under the bridge because there's so many athletes uh, trying to, it's, it's the nature of the course. Unfortunately, there is a lot of contact and I know some athletes are not trying to contact, but it, it is the way it is and because that, that's how the design of the course is. And, uh, and I thought the first round was going to be a little bit easier than yesterday, but it was actually probably one of the harder rounds. And then uh, the second round actually went real smooth for me, had a good swim as the, the, the group was a little smaller so you can have your own space on the swim. And then uh, had a, yeah, I wanted to not go as hard on the first round to save it all for the last, for the last round. And you know, we were looking at the conditions, it was a little windy and uh, yeah, my, my plan was to try and just get some sort of time into transition and I yeah, somehow planned it really, really well and uh, had a good T2 and just, uh, just, just went as hard as I could and tried to hold on. You had uh, 50 minutes breaks between the races. Do they count as competition as well? You can do something wrong and right? Yeah, you can do a lot of things wrong, uh, but you can do, you can, if you warm down, you take some, maybe some protein or, um, you know, some more carbohydrates, you just, you're doing everything right. It's, you know, recovery is key and you just got to keep doing what you got to do. Um, you know, go on the bike for 20 minutes um, and just keep yourself relaxed, uh, keep yourself cool and get out of the sunshine as, I know it's a little overcast today, but that's when it's more dangerous. Um, so I was just keeping under the covers and, and keeping as relaxed as possible. This format of racing was new for you, for the spectators, for, even for us. Uh, what do you think about it? Yeah, it's, uh, I love this sort of racing, but it's so hard with that rest. Um, uh, personally, I'd like it to be a little shorter, like, you know, 10 minutes rest or something and just go bang, bang, bang. Uh, but yeah, for this one, you actually have to be a lot smarter. And uh, oh, just kudos to my team as well, like to have my team here. They did so much work for me, um, so it was fantastic. What's your next goal? Oh, my next goal is to uh, recover for tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> for another hard race in the mixed team relay, what chance do you have for, uh, for New Zealand? Hey, we've got a great team. You know, Nicole um, did extremely well. She's in the final. Taylor did uh, really well. He got through to the top 20 and uh, and into these well. So we've got a really, do a really, really good team. So hopefully we'll recover well and uh, and you get onto it. But talking about recovery, I better go and get some protein in and start recovering for tomorrow. Yeah, good luck for that and congrats. Thank you so much.